David was astonished when he saw the Israelite soldiers running in fear. Do you mean to say, he laughed, that all of you have just been sitting here day after day letting that big Philistine make fun of you? The soldiers looked uncomfortable. David's brother looked angry. David had only just arrived in the Israelite camp with food for his brothers and a message from their father. Usually, he would have been out on the hills with his sheep, guarding them from wolves and lions. That was where he had learnt to use his sling and where he had grown strong, full of faith and fearless. But he was thought to be too young to join the soldiers lining up against the Philistines. Every day, the two armies faced each other across a deep valley. Every day, the giant Goliath marched out from the Philistine camp and challenged any Israelite soldier to fight him alone. But all the Israelites were terrified of the towering giant and his enormous spear. All except David. King Saul heard about David and sent for him. I will fight Goliath, David said. God has helped me save my sheep from wild beasts. God will help me now. Saul offered David his own armour. But David did not want to eat. All he wanted was five smooth stones from the brook. How Goliath laughed when he saw the boy who dared to fight him. Only a boy. But God was with him. Calling on the Lord, who was his friend, David sent a stone flying from his sling. Wham! The stone hit Goliath right in the middle of his forehead and he fell to the ground. The mighty giant was dead. His army fled. The battle belonged to the Lord. David became friends with son, Saul's son, Jonathan. You can read about it in the book in the Bible called Samuel. It's 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 3 and 4. You can read about some gifts Jonathan gave to David. Now, I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen after me. Dear God, sometimes we feel really scared. Help us like David did to remember that you are always with us. You are our helper and we will not be afraid. Amen. See you all soon. Bye.